back on Earth, plans were taking shape. A unique team would be formed and sent to the galaxy of Limbo to aid Commander Stargazer. Good morning, General. Morning, Professor. Data on our volunteers for the mission to Commander Stargazer. Well, let's take a look at it on the holograph projector. He's the leader, Jonathan Quick, former head of Federal Interplanetary Force 8. His hawk code name, Quicksilver. Emily Hart and Will Hart, the twins. They're technicians, designers, and both strong as all get out. When one twin feels something, so does the other. Uh, their hawk code names, Steel Heart and Steel Will. Here's a volunteer from the planet of the Mimes, a mathematical genius. He'll be known as the Copper Kid. This can't be right. He looks like a cowboy. <laughs> that cowboy's a colonel, Professor, and the best pilot in the solar system. We'll call him Bluegrass. I'm impressed, General. Hmm, it seems a shame we can't send them up to Commander Stargazer as they are. One day we'll be able to send an ordinary person 100 light years into space, General. But right now we can only send one who is partly metal and partly real. Well, have you completed their modifications? Uh, we're checking them now. All the sensors are attached, Professor. We're ready. Command Silverhawk's check run. Shoulder jets. Operative. Arm jets. Affirmative. Heel jets. All in order. Talons. Yes. Wings. In perfect order. Left hands. Normal. Heads. Normal. Hearts. Negative readout on the fourth and fifth hearts. What's happening, Professor? It's the twins. Ah, uh, it seems we have a problem with their real hearts, General. We'll have to fit mechanical ones. How will the twins operate without real hearts? <laughs> They'll be fine, General. <laughs> now their code names really fit. Steel Heart and Steel Will. Perfect. Let's hope our Silverhawks live up to their promise. Well, we'll soon find out, General. <laughs>